Hello everyone! If you've used Foundry for some time, you're probably familiar with the ambient sounds you can add into a scene, such as birds chirping or a fireplace burning. It sounds a little bit like this. We can see here the radius of the sound effect right here, which can be placed anywhere on the map to match up with the scenery. However, maybe you aren't sure where you can find some of these sound effects and you want to think about how else you can use them. That is what we're going to be going over today. We'll start off with some of the places I find my sound effects, as well as how we can add them in either to weapon or spell attacks, a soundboard module, or attaching them to tokens. Let's go ahead and get started first with where we can find some sound effects to use in our games. Adobe Audition software includes thousands of various sound effects you can use, such as fire and explosions, or crashes, or cartoon sounds. I've used a lot of the human elements when I'm doing video editing elsewhere, such as like laughing or cheering, but you can look through and see what you can use in your game. And there are quite a number available right here alone. Here is another place you can find a lot of different sound effects. However, a lot of it is not particularly organized. You'd have to do some sorting. I will be including a Google Drive link where I've already sorted out some of them. To be quite honest, the sorting I've done isn't very professional by any means, but hopefully it can help you if you're looking for something specific. Again, I'll be putting all of these links in the description below so you can find them. And for our final free resource for today, you can also find sound effects through BBC Sound Effects. Okay, with those free resources out of the way, let's take a look at some of the premium sound effects that you might want to use. And these are sound effects that are tailored actually to D&D, and you can find them on Drive Through RPG. So on Drive Through RPG, there are a number of various SFX packs that you could purchase. However, some of them may be a bit expensive, um, so just maybe be looking out to see if there are any sales that you can find. But it's an option if you want to go that route. So between all of those, you should be able to find at least something for your game. And if you can't, maybe consider you know looking for uh, old video games or things like that as well. However, just keep in mind, if you are streaming it, to be careful with copyright. But that goes without saying, hopefully. All right, let's go ahead and move on now into how we can use them in our game. So the next module we are looking at is the Maestro module, which will allow you to add in a number of different tracks, such as hype tracks, combat tracks, uh, fumble and critical tracks. But what we're actually going to be looking at today are the item tracks. These are tracks that will play a sound when a particular item or spell is used. So the first thing you need to do actually is in the configuration, enable item track as well as enable all the other tracks you want to use. After you're done with that, you can see here, there are some other configuration that you can play around with. But again, today just focusing on the item tracks. Let's go ahead and take a look at an item. So go to Merrick. We're gonna open up his inventory, go to Great Axe, edit the item. At the top where we have item track, that is what we're going to click. And I've already set mine here. So all you need to do is select the playlist you want to use and then select the track and then hit save track. After we use it, now whenever we use that great axe, we will hear that sound play. So let's go ahead and try it out right now. And there we are. So you can play around with this. You can also do the same thing for spell effects just as easily as you can do with weapon attacks as well. All right, with both the sound board as well as the maestro module out of the way, let's take a look at the last example of how we can use sound effects in the game. So I've placed a zombie onto the scene and I've done that for a reason. I have also placed a sound effect of a zombie horde. Maybe I need to change this around so it just sounds like one zombie, but this is what it sounds like right now. Pretty scary. However, it doesn't really serve me any good just being stationary. I want to attach it to that zombie. And the way that we're going to do that is using the token attacher module. So I also need to have the select everywhere tool as well. So the first step, we're going to select our zombie. And we need to make sure it is fully selected. 
unlink this. And we are going to go ahead and open the attaching UI. It is correct if you see the image of the zombie there. So that is now ready to go to the next step. Now we're going to go to our ambient sounds. And we're going to move it right on top of our zombie. Select the sound. And now let's go ahead and attach it. And if I move the zombie now, and if I look back at my ambient sounds, we can see that the sound moves along with my zombie. They move together. Let's go ahead and test this out now by moving our zombie toward our player and then switching back to our player. Alright, that is where we'll be finishing today. Hopefully this has given you some ideas of how you can use sound effects in your game, if you so choose. And maybe you can even look at other modules that play around with them as well. Alright, well thank you everyone, and I hope you can use this in your game. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below.